So here we go, the Hardcore Championship to kick us off here at Bad Blood. Well, here comes a hardcore wrestling icon who is indeed ready for a brawl. The following contest is a fatal five-way Extreme Rules match. And is for the Hardcore Championship. Making his way to the ring from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Weighing in at 287 pounds. Cactus Jack! I mean, Cactus Jack has literally left body parts in rings all around the world. Yeah, this is a dude who's seen more blood in his career than a horror film director. Imagine how you gotta feel with Cactus Jack's opponent. Singapore Kane has arrived. And from Philadelphia, weighing in at 240 pounds, the Sandman. Wherever the Sandman goes, the ECW faithful will follow. Yeah, the Sandman is a hazard to opponents' well-being, sometimes even to his own. But he defends the honor of ECW with every breath and every swing. A former ECW tag team champion and world champion, Sandman's name is engraved in the rafters at the ECW arena. The whole effing show. And from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. From ECW standout to WWE legend. One of the most unique athletes sports entertainment has ever known.
Retirement? What retirement? And from Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 247 pounds, Terry Funk. Terry Funk possesses a list of accolades a mile long. Let's talk about a former WWE Tag Team Champion, a multiple-time WCW United States Champion, and a multiple-time ECW Champion. Yeah, and don't forget, Corey, countless other titles all the way from Texas to Japan. This is going to be brutal. There is no area in this arena that is safe when Terry Funk's around. No one loves pain and punishment more than Terry Funk. One of the all-time greats, the Hall of Famer, Latino and Heat. From El Paso, Texas, Weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. So many historic memories of Latino Heat. I know our colleague JBL speaks so highly of the respect he holds for Eddie Guerrero, one of the all-time greats. Eddie Guerrero was always seen as an underdog. Granted, he would cheat on occasion to even the playing field. But hey, how can he not get behind a guy like Latino Heat? for what's considered one of the most unruly titles in this entire business. It's extreme rules, folks, and the action can leave you speechless. Corey, how does a competitor adjust to this brutality? Well, the main thing is to remember that anything you can imagine is within the rules. All is fair in love and war, and that goes for extreme rules, too. What would you know about love, Byron? But anyway, the pitless submission has to be in the ring to win. with no rules, what good even is a strategy? Yeah, it's good to throw strategy right out the window here. I'll never argue against the game plan, but part of the extreme rules environment means going with the flow and adapting. Know where you want things to go, but accept that you'll have to adjust course. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh my gosh, what impact! his opponent. Oh, a takedown. And now punches right. Just relentless. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. A kendo stick wrapped around their head. Avoiding contact. And there is no other term for that than just cheap, a cheap shot. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Attack in the foot. Oh, that hurts. He skirts away, living to fight another day. And gets tossed back into the mat. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. An efficient form of offense with that move. Ooh. All right. What are they going to do here? Oh, the clover lane! Check out the twerk on the back. Oh, this should have been over, but he breaks the hold. The 
looking for a scoop slam. No, slips behind. And for the D, T connects. Eddie Guerrero, Corey. Latino Heat hooks him up. Brian Buster going for a pin for the championship. No, shoulders up at two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Top rope for Eddie. Look at that. section there. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker and backbreaker. The adrenaline is pumping. Sandman rotating multiple times here, letting all the blood rush to the head. There's the pile driver. Is it enough? Is it enough for the Sandman? Precision. Here's the pin top. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Here comes that rolling fireman's carry. Nice rolling fireman's carry. Oh, costly error there. And that was an expertly executed DDT. Position way up high. Oh, what a calming blow. And Terry escapes danger. Oh, set him up for the oh, shit breaker. Maybe hard to walk after that. Funk. 
In control here with a swinging neckbreaker. Oh, a takedown and a spinning total. Fuck trying to get him to tap. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. Oh, no, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Cactus Jack looks like a sitting duck right now. Re-entering the ring now. You can't take much more on this. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. German suplex. Oh, ooh, what knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. And this one might be headed now a pen for the championship. And he breaks up the count. And now here's Jack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And we can't overlook how devastating that DDT was. Up and down. What a slam. Kick down low. Dunner! Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic! Goodness! Infernit suplex! Guerrero making clear he has his number. Sure, he's popping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. And he gets set back into the ring. Just thrown away. Every person in this capacity crowd is on their feet. And with good reason. These superstars are earning all of their respect. He's back into the ring. Powerbomb position. Going down, punches and counters out. That'll turn your lights out. No, he gets the shoulder up. You got a question. 
question. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. champ like this, he is never going to forget this moment or feeling. What a great matchup. Five, Fatal Five for the for, for the Hardcore Championship and Extreme Rules match with all the ODCW guys. But the legend Terry Funk with a submission on Eddie Guerrero to win the Hardcore Championship here at Bad Blood. What a great way to kick off. Alright guys, up next, the World Heavyweight Cha the World Tag Team Championship, the Hart Foundation, the Outsiders, the Steiners, and the Dudley Boys have returned. Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Tornado Tag for the Tag Team Championship. Here come Hall and Nash. The following contest is a fatal four-way tag team match. And is for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. Introducing first at a combined weight of 608 pounds, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, the NWO. Flip this industry on its head when they invaded WCW. Well, they went looking to conquer new ground, and boy, did they succeed. Two men who are championship material no matter where they are. 
legitimate threats to anyone in singles or tag action. A couple of all American athletes and their opponents. First, at a combined weight of 531 pounds, Rick and Scott, the Steiner Brothers. Plenty of raw power between those two men. They're both the powerhouse of this team. It's because they're in the gym when they're not in the ring. And when they hit the weights, the weights feel it. It's the Heart Foundation. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 516 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart, the Heart Foundation. You would be hard-pressed to find a duo in better sync than these two. It all started with a bond formed in the Hart family dungeon. The damn Dudleys. Again. Oh, baby, we are about to get extreme. And their opponents at a combined weight of 595 pounds. Bubba Ray and Devon the You never know what's going to happen with the Dudleys, except that someone's going through a table. Yeah, we know the Dudleys have held tag titles everywhere they've gone, but they always have something up their sleeves. Bubba and Devon truly raise the bar for brutality. Every match with them quickly turns into a brawl. Get ready for a fight that would make Big Daddy Dudley proud. Multiple teams facing off in this Tornado Tag Match. In a Tornado Tag situation, you never know how many opponents will be targeting you. The only one on your side is your tag team partner. Swinging the elbow to hook. Oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Now Steiner goes into the pin. And quick getting the arm up. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to.
punching powerbomb like that sends a clear message. Oh, come on, the challenger! And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. position to be in right now. No, 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 no. Powerbomb out of the apron. Here it comes. Looking for. I don't know if we're going to have any taste buds left after that. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Challenging 
position. In the back of Rick's mind. Yeah. kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship means. You can see the sweat trip on the challengers every point. Well, you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. But now Steiner. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. I can see up to the left and there's not a single person. Sharp elbows. And a hip toss to escape. He wants it one more time. Bubba cut by Bubba Red. We have a new champion. And well timed maneuver there. He's been placed in the corner now. Cover by the champ. Now we see Hart. No title still hangs in the balance. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Championship. The challenger fending off the two count. How is the challenger still in this? Right, hold on, is he thinking of the submission here? Oh, and he got in there. I thought that was it. You and me both. Looks like Hall's loading up. What's up? Money pulls up. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. The champ Osler glazed over. Just won't give up. We're at a vital stage in this matchup and the moving into the cover of the title of the line. New champion, new champion. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. The hitman in the crosshairs. for this tag team here tonight. Love them or hate them, you know they did everything they could to earn this win. Back to back, great matches out the outset. We got a new Legends Tag Team Champions, the Steiner Brothers, win tonight. What a match. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, up next, the Intercontinental Championship on the line. We saw an aggressive Ken Shamrock on last night on Raw's War. He let that an open challenge. British Bulldog wins the championship. Here comes the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. And gentlemen, he is in his zone. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Ken Shamrock won't waste any time going on the attack tonight. He has no fear and can't be restrained. It's impossible to prepare for Ken Shamrock. All his opponent can do is hang on for dear life. Shamrock's one of the toughest superstars to enter a WWE ring. When he gets in that zone and knuckles up, people's bones start to break. The Hall of Fame powerhouse.
Let's do this. The British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith, began his career as a tag team competitor. But since has evolved into a main event single star on his own. A lot of bark, but even more bite from the British Bulldog. He has an amazing physique, tremendous strength and power, but he's very agile as well. You're absolutely right. The British Bulldog has so many tools at his disposal. Introducing the challenger from Manchester, England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. And his opponent from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the world's most dangerous A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. The bell rings and we should be in for quite a physical matchup if the British Bulldog has any say in the matter. That is putting it lightly, Michael, because when Davy Boy gets going, he can be downright brutal. I mean, talk about explosiveness. Very true, Byron. You do not want to set him off. And staring daggers straight through him is Ken Shamrock. Never one to hold back in the ring, Shamrock packs a serious punch and uses his combat sports expertise to neutralize even the toughest of his opponents. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Saw that coming. Arm drag takedown. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Got a thump. And finds a counter. Shamrock knew what was coming. Has him up for the power slam from behind into an inverted DDT. Caught with a punch. That was a big hit, and Bulldog is starting to wear a crimson mask. Striking at will. Just never had a chance to block any of those. If the British Bulldog's gonna win this thing, he needs to set the terms of this match in his favor. That means keeping it in the center of the ring and focusing on his grappling skills. Good call, Corey. A more traditional pace and style certainly would play to the Bulldog's strengths. Sent into the corner. And Davey Boy reverses. Getting tossed around. And you don't often see the champion get thrown around that easily. Oh, that was inventive. And nothing could have. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Whoa. Defiant kick out from the champion. That was a long two count there. This is much. Knee to the gut. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And an elbow drop, too. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. And Shamrock is being dismantled. Bulldog focusing on setting the terms of this match, allowing him to play to his strengths. Ah, look at this. Do some serious damage. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on him.
Oh, Shamrock locking in the ankle lock. The ankle lock is cinched. In. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. And still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Incoming! Dirty fist drop! The challenger is not in a great place. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. British Bulldog connected with a good shot there. All the way down. Frankensteiner! Nicely done. That's gonna be it. Two. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Impact uses the edge of the knee. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Oh, fuck it. God's landing face first. Superstars on fire. Pace begins to quicken. Unbelievable. Plants them. Uh -oh. New champion. Forces the shoulder up after two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. What started with strong words and healthy locker room competition has snowballed into an out of control feud between these competitors. It's been an interesting story to watch from ringside. Each new chapter has been more... Wait, 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 wait! Kick out of the title fight continues. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Bulldog gets fended off. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. it around, sole of the foot meets the stunt. Man, face buster! <laughs> Quickly hoisting him up. Snap, pile driver! That is exactly the kind of maneuvers that have made the British Bulldog legendary. A British Bulldog power Play. Here it comes, running, power slam. Gonna see a new champ. Shoulders down. What a kick out at two. Guys, I thought we were getting a new champion there. <laughs> well, we might see a new champ here tonight. Don't put the cart before the horse. The champ kicked out and has no intentions on losing that title anytime soon. It is unreal that this match is still going on after a maneuver that would end most matches. Stop to the gut. Oh, right across the solar plexus. Alley-oop! Bulldog's got to find a way out of this dire spot. Ten Shamrock picks the leg, looking for the ankle lock submission. Hank in the rope, save him there. But will he be able to last much longer? Think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. He got whipped into that corner. Face first. Show him to the stomach. Oof. Nails the midsection. Lifts their opponent's oh. legs. And oh. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. You can see Bulldog's eyes taking aim. British Bulldog, look at the power, and this is vintage right here, the body power slam. Gonna see a new champ. Great officiating, as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Jarring impact. 
He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. Oh, God, that hurt. He was waiting for him to make his move. Wicked kick to the face. Oh, look at this. A release belly to belly. This has been a colossal battle. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Impressive display of power. Well, this won't win. He let it go. Five. Yeah, I wonder why. Six. Oh, look at this power. This is unholy. Look at that for reps. Oh, oh, oh. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. Whip back into the ring. Expected that one. Oh, oh crossbody wipes them out. Oh, saw it coming. And Davy Boy reverses. talking about this match for a long time coming. Yeah, and we had the distinct... Six feet, six inches of pure, untamed wildness. This is the animal. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds. The animal, Batista! Oh, the animal will punish with no remorse and no mercy. Batista's story is that of indescribable rage. He has this insatiable desire to inflict pain on his prey. Yeah, it is really frightening when you think about what Batista is truly capable of. He won the Royal Rumble in two different decades. He's a decorated champion, a Hollywood action movie star. And Batista doesn't care what anyone thinks. He's obsessed with what he wants, and what Batista wants is domination. Time to unleash the rage. A Hall of Famer and our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. And his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, J.B. Now here's JBL, a Triple Crown champion. He's held the WWE title, Intercontinental title, and U.S. title. 
He's a member of the WWE Hall of Fame and a bona fide wrestling god. Hey guys, I ever told you that JBL is a really good friend of mine? That's a lie, Byron. One of the best brawlers in WWE history. Hey, Corey, you think JBL will pay the medical facility bills for his opposition tonight? JBL once again ready to prove just why he is a wrestling god. Take notes, gentlemen. You might learn something about how to be a winner. Well, now we know how the cheer squad feels about things, but we'll soon see if JBL can actually live up to that winner's mindset he's cultivated over the years. Lucky for him, things do historically have a way of falling in his favor. And awaiting him across the ring is a man that fights battles all over the galaxy. Just a mountain of muscles looking to crush his opponent, the ever-imposing Batista. Batista is just a literal destroyer and an incredible challenge. Nothing goes over his head because his reflexes are too fast. He would just catch you. Batista's a serious hurdle for any opponent. Uh-oh. With the reversal. Superstar giving an inch here. Ooh. The fight is on, and it's furious. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. He saw it coming, taking advantage. A stalemate of counters. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Oh, my Look at goodness. This. From the ground up. Power slam. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Batista's aggression has always defined him in the ring. How does he keep it from getting the better of him? Well, the animal cannot get carried away. Batista has the power, but what he needs to do is pace himself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. He doesn't want to burn himself out too fast. Reversal from Batista. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. The only word that comes to mind with them is admiration. Yeah, Corey, what started as a sporting rivalry has devolved into this all-out war we're seeing unfold here. And Batista gets warded off. Well-scattered reversal there. Up goes the animal. Look out! All the way to the outside! Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Elbow drop. Piercing. Batista with a great shot. He is just reeling from that offense. The animal's been grinding his teeth all night, and that was an indication that he's ready to feast now. Boom! Running out. T.O. plants him. Nicely done. They need to be aware of a count out right now. And he slides him back to the mat. Excellent ring IQ to see the refs count and return to the ring. In Batista with a patented Batista bomb. Can JBL come back from that? There's two. Included. Not many people escape defeat after Batista gets hold of you and executes that maneuver. Oh, an overhand punch. Getting tossed. Ooh, stinging kick. Things have gotten worse. 
harsh for JBL. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Uh-oh. Hazardous part of town here on the apron. Oh, my goodness. Counters with a brutal answer. And now gets tossed into the ring. He is looking to do some serious harm. Boom. Batista is out of his cage. Batista pacing himself with this up high. Oh, God. That, that, that's a bad landing. Taking a chance, and it didn't pay off at all. He'll head to the ring. the power of the wrestling god, JBL. And there's the cover. Breaks the close count. So, so close. That could have been it. Elbow drop. Piercing. And the WWE Universe is making their appreciation for these gladiators known. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Makes him pay with a counter. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Nice suplex. Uh-oh. Just like that, Bradshaw finds a counter. Planning on what to do next. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. Face Buster plants him. JBL could be moments away from being beaten. Uh-oh. Batista setting him up. It could be time. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, the Animal Batista. Batista's got to be feeling good about this performance tonight. Hey, Batista earned it in every sense of the word. The Animal adding another name to his long list of victims. What a great night it has been so far. Three championship matches, three new champions. Batista gets his revenge on JBL. JBL's revenge from years and years ago didn't happen for him tonight. Batista, your winner. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this rivalry needs no introduction. Triple H versus Stone Cold. It was Triple H that eliminated Austin in the Royal Rumble, Legends Royal Rumble, for the WWE Championship back at Deadly Game. Triple H, Austin, next. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow. From a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. You take down Stone Cold, you're the talk of sports entertainment. It would be a life-changing victory. The Rattlesnake. That's right. That's and his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, there's no question, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin doesn't like a lot of people but I think you can make the legitimate argument that Austin has never had more disdain for anyone than he has had for the game Triple H remember when Triple H was the accomplice to Rikishi's hit and run on Stone Cold Steve Austin There's the bell and ready for action. Stone Cold Steve Austin. That bell might as well have been a can of whoop ass being cracked open. The Texas Rattlesnake is absolutely unleashed when he steps into the ring. And that's a venom no one has found an antidote for yet. Austin certainly is as unpredictable as he is dangerous. He's about to face a test like he's never had before in the form of Triple H. Not only is Triple H physically strong, and not only is he in peak condition, this is a man who can worm his way into your head and beat you as badly mentally as he does physically. He is ruthless. That's why they call him the Cerebral Assassin. I'll tell you what, the intensity here has been absolutely over the edge. Byron, what does Triple H need to do to the Rattlesnake here? Well, Triple H has to find a way to use his technical expertise against Austin. But that's easier said than done. If that doesn't work, he should attack the heavily braced knees of Austin. It's going to be hard for the Rattlesnake to pull off a stunner if he can't stand up. Ooh. He's turning the tables. Uh-oh, Triple H... Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. The game firing up. Fighting back with a counter. Spine buster. And Triple H being shown he's not the only one who knows how to operate in the ring. There's that nastiness of Stone Cold coming into play. His opponent simply had no answer for it. He's got him down. Is this it? It's still hanging on. He thought he had it. The rattlesnake lasered in on the game. Austin wins. Austin got all of it.
shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Fights back against Stone Cold. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Yeah. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Uh-oh, captured. Oh, face buster by the game. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And now Austin is bleeding. Oh, right across the top row. The game with the double underhook. Here we go. Pedigree. Is that enough to take out Austin? Two. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. Austin somehow got the shoulder up. Intestinal fortitude on display from Stone Cold. And Triple H is now realizing he has a different breed of opponent here tonight. The game is going to have to pull out all the stops to close this out. Nice neck breaker. Can Austin weather this storm, guys? Whoa. Triple H just overloading Austin with more than he can handle. Big-time clothesline. Good grief. Boom. Put it in position now. Uh-oh. No! Can't And he tosses it back in now. Bang! Vicious boot. Stiff shot to the abdomen. Kick lands. Austin just stomping away. What a barrage of stops. Attack after attack coming from Austin. Rough spot for Triple H to be in. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. From way up, a double axe handle. He's taking this to the floor now. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Toss back into the ring. He moved, but can he capitalize? Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. I like this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face across the top rope. Time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. And there's even more merciless offense from the game. I'm sure this is part of Triple H's plan to finally finish this thing. Triple H thinking many steps ahead. Oh, he got him. Is he going to lock this in? Applying force through every part of the leg and looking for. Oh, the death lock is in. Straight right hand will break it up. Oh, my God. Setting up for something here. Oh, right across the throat. Will it be? I think so. Got it. No, just a two. How in the world did he kick out? Triple 
Edge survived that. Nothing can keep the game down when he's this determined, this possessed. Anger is starting to show in the face of Austin. I think the Rattlesnake will do anything to close this out. Relentlessly stomping away at his opponent. Reversal from the game. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Drop it with a big shoulder tackle. Triple H getting dismantled here. Stone Cold lashing out and giving Triple H all he's got. Just rake in the face. All oh, over the face. Triple H is reeling. Might be game over. Oh, right in there. He might be able to... Arms hooked by the game. That's the game changer. Big forearm. It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear this capacity crowd following you on that journey. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm has the arm trapped. And a series of vicious stomps. Continuing to work on the leg of his opponent. Oh my God! Triple H looking at Austin with bad intentions. Got it scouted. Big, big, big. Here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. Steve Austin over Triple H. Stone Cold just opened up a can of whoop butt on the game. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, what a match as Austin gets his vengeance on the game, beats the game in a straight up wrestling match, here tonight at Bad Blood. What a, what an event this has been, and what a way to end it. Rikishi won the Legends Deadly Game Royal Rumble a month ago to become the WWE Champion. It was because The Rock gave up his late entrant that Rikishi ended up winning it. Blood versus Blood here tonight at Bad Blood. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Uh, Saxon, stop dancing. I can't help it. It's like my hips and my hands have a mind of their own. It's all fun and games right now, but Rikishi can end any opponent mere seconds. Once he gets that look in his eyes, he will squash any man in his path. I know it's much easier said than done, but this superstar cannot let The Rock get in his head. Now is the time to focus on the task at hand.
Well, the great one has arrived. It's check-in time at the SmackDown Hotel. One of the all-time greats. The Brahma Bull, the people's champ, the most electrifying man in entertainment. The Rock is here, and this place is rocking. We've already seen that The Rock is champion material, but he recently proved he's red carpet material as well. Well, The Rock can certainly do it all, but balancing Hollywood and WWE is no easy task with a competition level this high. Corey, I think you're being a bit harsh there. From what we've seen, if The Rock works as hard in the ring as he does on set, I'm sure he'll be a household name in no time. The Brahma Bull has an immense amount of momentum behind him. Yeah, and you can see that he's dead set on regaining his spot at the top. You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. And with the ring of the bell, The Rock is ready and raring to go. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment, The Rock is nothing but a pure athletic specimen. His in-ring ability is something quite literally he was born with. We know the legacy The Rock came from and the one he'll leave. But tonight, he has to be focused on the task at hand. Yeah, Byron, and you can be sure that all that and more is weighing on his opponent here. And Rikishi is an equal opportunity human wrecking ball. Scary agility for a man his size, but even scarier when it's his backside falling towards his opponent. Really, Saxton, do we really have to talk about Rikishi's backside? Isn't the dancing bad enough? The guy's a dangerous monster, with or without all the eccentricities. Able to avoid any harm there. try and end this one early. The great one does not want to give Rikishi a moment to recuperate because if Rikishi is able to attack, then his massive size and weight advantage will overwhelm the Brahma Bull. It will always be a deeply personal rivalry between these two. Rikishi has been jealous of The Rock's success, while the great one disapproved of Rikishi's attacks against Steve Austin. Look, if Rikishi is able to use his 400-plus pound frame, Rock will then feel what it's like to be run over by a bus. These men are part of the same family, though you won't know that based on what we expect to see in this one. This match represents a family at war. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. All the way out. Oh, he fights Rikishi back. Uh-oh. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Great strength being shown here. Right on their face. Oh, oh, nice. oh new champ. 
Rikishi gets the shoulder up. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Back elbow smash, nothing fancy. Oh, the rock and arm wrench. Good. And a DDT. Hoist it up into the snap suplex. Shot to the back of the neck. Hoist it up. Nice suplex. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Crank in the head. Rock sensed that, that was coming. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Discouraging situation for the people's champion. Rikishi's a behemoth. If this keeps up, Rock could get a taste of something he won't like. And Rock comes right back at him. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Right, here we go. And from the DDT. Fight. He connected right on the jaw. The Rock letting his opponent know exactly what he thinks of him. Big risk here. He may. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Showing him what a real alpha male looks like. That was almost a count out. Pulled over into a DDT. Vintage rock right there. Yeah. Oof. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. This rivalry has grown more and more intense. Reason has gone right out the window. That happens when a feud is allowed to fester like this one. Double leg takedown could be looking for a submission here. Can they step through? Yes, step up. Look at the torque. Submission locked in. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. <laughs> Effective. The champ's shoulders are down. champion here is your winner and the new wwe champion the rock you can just feel it their championship dream has become reality he's fought like a champion this whole match and now he has the title to prove it the rock was not going to be denied the Rock is the new WWE Champion. Just like he guaranteed he would be. What what an event Bad Blood was. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always. What a show. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for Monday Night Raw. With the update of Jey Uso. Of course he suffered the injury last week on Raw. After losing his Intercontinental Championship rematch. We have a new hardcore champion, we have new tag team champions, we have a new intercontinental champion, and now we have a new WWE champion. What a night! J uh, Batista beats JBL, Stone Cold beats Triple H, and The Rock is the new WWE champion. I'll see you on Monday Night Raw tomorrow night. Later guys.